All right, so I'm going to try one more pass for Dan Donovan. And uh, the sitting congressman, United States congressman. Try one more time. He's not interested in talking. He's not interested in talking. Oh, good, he's outside. I push right up on. Hi. Oh. How are you, sir? Hey, this is, oh, I got Dan, Dan Donovan coming in. I bring him into the frame. Oh, this hey, Marcus, good to see you, man. man. So this is um, this is the sitting congressman in uh, District 11. You explain. Tell him, tell him who you are. Yeah, Dan Donovan. I represent the southern portion of Brooklyn, all of Staten Island. Glad to be here at the fair today. A lot of people out, good weather, good food. Anybody who's watching, come on out. All right. So, so you're running against, you're, you're, prim, you're running against a primary against uh, uh, Grimm, Michael Grimm, correct? You got to get him out of the way a little bit? Yep. And then you got some challenges on the left. So, so, uh, so I grew up in Staten Island and I, I'm, uh, you know, I live in Bay Ridge. I know you went to Farrell High School. As well. I was a, that's right, so, I was a lion. Here's the question I wanted to ask you. You guys a lifelong Democrat, right? You're a lifelong Democrat. Right? I'm a lifelong no Republican. I'm a Republican. No, but 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 oh. but, but your, your your bio says that you are a lifelong Democrat. No, 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 no. I'm a Republican. All right, it's all Republican. Yep. So, what does it mean to be a conservative Republican in this climate today? What it really means is you vote for your constituents. You know, people sit there and try to follow one uh, leadership line, and people who are good at what I do for a living listen to the people that they represent. I am your voice in Washington, D.C. I may have voted with the president 90% of the time. I voted with you 100% of the time. I know you went against, you voted uh, against uh, Trump's tax cuts for the uh, corporation. It wasn't a tax cut. 14%. Yeah, yeah. yeah it That's was. Crazy. It, it, well, what we voted against, it's going to end up being a tax increase for a lot of people I represent, the tax cuts. So uh, I'm never going to vote for something that's going to harm the people. Regardless of who's supporting it, I'm going to represent the 740,000 people that sent me to Washington to be their voice. And I'm always going to do what's right by them, regardless of how it affects anybody else. Very good. Dan, is there anything else you want to uh, add to that? I'd just, like, right? just like to ask your viewers to all make sure June 26th is my primary. Please come out and vote. It's important to exercise that right, that privilege that we have as Americans. Uh, so few people are going to vote in this election. So please, please come out and vote June 26th. And if you're a Republican or conservative, please vote for me. That's good. Thank you very much for your time, Dan. You. Good, Peace. good talking. Thank you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you. Ah, I got Dan Donovan. Wow. That's a good man. Good man. I was cursing him. I wasn't going to get the interview, but yeah. Oh, he's a good guy, man. I, I wanted, That was the question I wanted to ask him. Was, uh, you know, what is it to be a conservative Republican? What, what does that mean? I mean? You're a progressive. You're a, you're, you're a lunatic left. You're a far right. You're, what does all that mean? I don't know. But he said it's vote for your constituents. That was a good answer. I like that answer. I don't shut down for a while. Peace.